hello everyone welcome to placement raja today we will see difference between c++ objects and java objects in terms of creation and memory allocation first let's come to c++ objects in c++ objects creation of objects can be done in two ways uh first way is uh suppose if uh class is class name is um mm, cricket something if we declare a variable of a class type uh, class name is cricket if we declare uh, declare variable of uh, class type suppose uh, such in then this is one form of creation of object if you do if you if you create object by this type this object will be allocated memory in stack and another way is we can create object of object in c++ by using new operator that is cricket if we create by this object of cricket that is sachin will be stored in heap if we use new operator that object will be stored created dynamically and will be stored in heap so uh, if you Uh, create by using new operator we have to uh, you are allocating a, a memory to such an object and you have to express explicitly delete it because you are allocating memory by yourself but if you create object by this way in this way it will be auto automatically automatically deleted when it comes out of the scope okay let's see this by example i will show you you it is near by using example okay this is my code mm, here class name is test and functions which i am using to check that object is created is this check function uh, to check whether object is created or not this is the destructor this indicates the symbol indicates destructor if you remove this it will be the it will be the constructor of the this class test so this is a destructor to check if the object is deleted or not so i have told you already that object can be created in two ways first we will go in first way so class name is test and i am creating a object like uh, t uh, this is the first way here object will be created and will be and will be stored in stored in stack and will be stored in stack uh let's see let call that function t dot check off see i told you already this will be uh, deleted automatically so by after running this function you should print that object is created because i am running this check function it should uh, show the object created but and it also should show that object will be deleted because it will be stored in stack and when it comes out of the scope from main function it should be deleted automatically So let's run this program. It compiled without any errors. Let's run this. See, object is created and object is deleted automatically. This is the first way of uh, object creation in C plus plus. And here, object is stored in will be stored in stack. 
and uh, stack will st stack is faster than heap because object is created uh, as soon as it is compiled this is not a runtime creation so we will go for another type of object creation that is runtime creation of object uh, uh, we can do this by see we will create a pointer of that as type and we will use new operator so that pointer t will be a points to this memory see now t is the object of uh, new test new will create new object space and t will point to that one uh, so here object uh, created dynamically because we are using new operator and it will be stored in stack and will be stored in heap stored in heap uh, I am commenting this line so if you want to invoke any function by using pointer you have to use this symbol uh, t dot check off not dot it is a pointer so you have to use this uh, indicator symbol directory symbol so what are expecting from this uh, definitely everyone knows that it will show that object is created but what i'm saying is if a object is created in if a object is allocated memory in heap it won't be deleted automatically the user assigned here memory for that object so user should have to express explicitly remove that memory see mm, after running this one i'm going to compile this wait wait uh, i'm going to compile this so no compiler errors so no warnings then see the output of this one see just object is created and it is not deleted in order to delete this object which is created in heap this is a dynamically created object so in order to delete this we have to explicitly mention delete uh, delete operator delete of that object name here i am giving as input as object name and delete a function will accept a pointer object pointer so i am a i give object uh, of the test as t as input then after uh, giving this what this will do is what delete function will do is it will invoke destructor and auto and it will be deleted so here i have mentioned destructor so after executing this statement it will invoke this uh, destructor function and it will show that object is deleted and object will also be deleted so let's run this again mm. so, uh, compile no errors then see output see object is created and object is also deleted so these are the two ways of object creation c++ and object can be stored uh, either on stack or heap there are uh, depends on the way we are creating them if you want to create objects dynamically go for the second approach and if you want to create objects uh, statically during compilation go for the type one which i have mentioned then um, this is the um, first way of and uh, this is about c++ objects and then go to java objects we are seeing differences between c++ objects in terms of uh, creation and memory allocation mm, here creation of objects can be done in only one way in one way 
that is only dynamic allocation of objects dynamic allocation of memory to objects okay um, here suppose class is cricket and if you mention like that uh, first way which we used in uh, c++ or objects like cricket sachin what will happen is it will if you declare variable of the class type it will just assign a reference to that object but it will not allocate memory to this such an object so uh, there is nothing wrong with the statement just such an is uh, referred uh, just a reference is created for this object but memory will won't be allocated so if you want to access uh, any functions uh, which are in the such in cricket class it will raise an error like that memory is not allocated something like this so we have only second approach mm. equal to no such enough this is the only way in java we java doesn't support pointers so this is the only way to create objects in java and all the objects in java will be allocated dynamically uh, let's see this with code with some sample code okay this is my function uh, this is my class test and this is my function show this is the public function uh, see in first way we will go with first way see what i am doing is i am just creating a variable of uh, class type test and i am trying to invoke this uh, show function show function from the test we will see what will happen java main main dot java it is compiled because I, I told you already there is no wrong with the statement but memory won't be allocated java main uh, i think i have to compile this before sorry for the disturbance I'll <sighs> java main dot java see it's uh, it's showing error like variability might not have been initialized so it is not allocated memory so it is showing that error so we'll go with second approach like like t equal to new test of so here i am uh, allocating memory to t object dynamically and it will be this object will be allocated memory on heap so if we call invoke this function and it will be successfully invoked and will uh, print object created expecting that mm. Hmm. 
ओके जवाक मेन डॉट जवा इट्स इंसलाइज्ड बट द प्रॉब्लम इज इट इज नॉट सेविंग ऑटोमेटिकली ओके लेट्स सी द सेम कोड इन अनदर आई विल क्रिएट अ न्यू फाइल See, it's compiled, and output will be in class new file. Uh, I think there is a problem with this some compiler. Oh, mm. okay. Sorry for that. Okay, sorry for the some. Um, I, I have. I am getting some errors with this compiler. So the code is correct exactly. I have run a different compiler, but this one is showing some errors. See, object is created, and there is no problem with this code. And this is I uh, got some errors because of this uh, uh, compilation problems of the file. Mm, and this is the only way to create objects in uh, Java. And objects will be created only dynamically. Okay, thanks for watching this video. See you again later.